President Donald Trump is not a man of great moral upstanding. He does not believe in any principles, even basic ones like democracy, freedom and the rule of law. All of that is perfectly obvious from his track record across the two and a bit years that he has spent so far in the high office of President of the United States and leader of the free world. Nothing is too low for him. However, recent reports suggest that he has now taken this to a whole new level by beginning to encourage his officials to break the law to achieve things that are convenient to him and promising to pardon them if they get caught. President Donald Trump told Customs and Border Protection Commissioner Kevin McAllen and he would grant McAllen a pardon if he were sent to jail for having border agents block asylum seekers from entering the U.S. in defiance of U.S. law, senior administration officials tell CNN. Trump reportedly made the comment during a visit to the border at Calexico, California, a week ago. It was not clear if the comment was a joke. Two officials briefed on the exchange say the president told McAllenon, since named the acting secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, that he would pardon him if he ever went to jail for denying U.S. entry to migrants, as one of the officials paraphrased. This is incredible to see. This is the man who rules over us from the Oval Office, and here he is saying that the law does not matter at all and that breaking it is fine because he can pardon his friends. Perhaps this should not be a huge surprise for someone who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth, this particular spoon being the multi-billion dollar business empire he inherited from his father. Trump seems to find it impossible to think of anyone but himself, even when it comes to breaking the law. The president has, of course, tried to deny these allegations. But in keeping with his character, he has done it in a way that makes him look much more guilty than innocent. Taking to Twitter, he blasted the issue as a fake story, and instead of offering any evidence in his favor, he simply laid into journalists and incited more violence against them by alleging that the entire mainstream media is corrupt against him.